Hey y'all, it's me, Coach C, the gifted girl who grew up. And today we're going to discover your true nature with this guided mirror meditation. I know you're wondering what is a mirror meditation? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a meditation, a place of mindfulness that you practice in front of a mirror. So, you know, it's interesting because every year in late October, adults and children alike, we get to play dress up. However, this concept of disguising ourselves is most certainly not relegated to Halloween. At first, it's important for us to experience our own disguises. So when we begin to pay attention to how we present ourselves to different people, you might be surprised at how quickly and constantly you are altering yourself. So here today, we're going to enter into this guided mirror meditation to help you get back to center. Emma Shodron says, Our true nature is like a precious jewel. Although it may be temporarily buried in mud, it remains completely brilliant and unaffected. We simply have to uncover it. So one of the best ways to discover and interact with our deeper nature is simply by looking in the mirror. Think about it. <laughs> you know, we observe our reflection in the mirror as like a daily habit but we don't really think much about it. But truly observing your reflected face offers valuable insight. I know you may be thinking that it's narcissistic to stare at yourself for any length of time, but this exercise isn't about standing back and either criticizing or admiring your reflection. It's about coming face to face with who you really are. Are we ready to dive in? Great. All right, so because we're here together, I know you have already found a quiet place and a mirror <laughs> where you won't be disturbed. Phones off to the side, unless you're listening to me, of course. <laughs> now settle into a comfortable seated position one where you won't be tempted to shift and alter your posture. Close your eyes and breathe gently and naturally for a bit. Notice how your body is feeling. Are you feeling tension, fear, uncertainty, even curiosity? Whatever it is, just note it without judgment and allow your breath to flow naturally. Now open your eyes and look at yourself in the mirror. Note immediately what you see and think. Because most of us look at ourselves in the mirror without really looking. Or if we are looking, there's generally a running narrative that goes along. So notice the first impressions and then let them drop away. Continue to gaze into the mirror. What's your experience? Some people are saddened by the very critical nature of their thoughts. Others are surprised by the expression on their face in response. Still others experience the face is fluid or we see shadows passing across the face almost like a weather system. Whatever your experience, stay with it and note it in your mind. Your gaze may soften to become less focused. How does that affect your perception? You might want to bring a sense of compassion to your reflection to note the places that your face reflects tiredness or even sorrow. Sit with compassion with this face 
and self that looks outward at the ever-changing, often difficult world. Is there any sense of self as you look deeply? Or are you experiencing a deep shift in perspective? You see, instead of using the mirror as a tool for looking critically and figuring out ways to make your disguise more palatable to the rest of the world, can you spend quiet, reflective, <laughs> literally and figuratively, time with yourself and uncover the jewel residing within? So once you've sat with yourself, for a few minutes, your final step is to take a moment to process the experience and any insights that you may have had during your mirror meditation. My prayer for you is that today and always, as you begin to see a deeper sense of yourself, you might feel able to drop a layer or two of your brilliant disguise. Peace and blessings, light and love always.